so welcome everybody to morning prayer and um, just to announce that uh, Diane will read the Benite and our reader will be Steve Coggins and we'll have music from Ray Kennedy. Yeah. And we'll begin on page 78 and then we'll continue with the um, confession on page 79. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. And now let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors, our neighbors, neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We, we are truly sorry and humbly remembered for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us, and give us, that we may delight in your will, 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 will and walk in your way to, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 And now continuing with the invitatory of the Psalter on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths will mouth show your praise. 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 Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm for today is Psalm 119, beginning on page 771, and we will read verses 97 through 120. Again, Psalm 119, page 771. Oh, how I love your law. All day long. Your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies. And it is not always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For you are my study. I am wiser than the elders. Because I observe your commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way. That, that I may keep your word. word. I do not shrink from your judgments. Because you I yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. mouth. Through your commandments, I gain understanding. Therefore, I hate every lying way. Your word is a lantern to my feet. And a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips. And teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand. Yet I do not remember your judgments. The wicked have set a trap for me. But I have not strayed from your enemies. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they have the joy of my heart. 
I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes. Forever and to the end. I hate those who have a divided heart. But your law do I love. You are my refuge and shield. My hope is in your word. Away from me, you wicked. I will keep the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your promise that I may live. And let me not be disappointed in my hope. Hold me up and I shall be safe. And my delight shall be ever in your statutes. You spurn all who stray from your statutes. Their deceitfulness is in vain. In your sight, all the wicked of the earth are but dross. Therefore, I love you, love your decrees. My flesh trembles with dread of you. I am afraid of your judgments. Continuing on page 84, glory to the Father, Father and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. 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 Our first reading. A reading from Acts. <clears throat> While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. He entered into the synagogue and for three months spoke out boldly and argued persuasively about the kingdom of God. When some stubbornly refused to believe and spoke evil of the way before the congregation, he left them, taking the disciples with him, and argued daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This continued for two years, so that all the residents of Asia, both Jews and Greeks, heard the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> No one here to guide you. Now you on your own. Only me beside you. Still you're not alone. No one is alone. Truly, no one is alone. Sometimes people leave you halfway through the wood. Others may deceive you. You decide what's good. You decide alone. But no one is alone. People make mistakes.
a reading from Luke. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days. And when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, it is written, one does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, to you, I will give their glory and all this authority for it has been given over to me and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered him, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down here. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to protect you and on their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. Jesus answered him, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will continue with the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Prayers continuing on page 97, and for the Lord's Prayer, let us read the translation on the right column. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now the suffrages be on page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and all the days. Day by day we bless you. We pray in your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. A prayer for this time of transition in our parish. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James Parish and grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through the search process for a new rector. Thank you for the faithful stewards you have provided and will provide for our leadership. Thank you for those who have agreed to serve on the search committee and for the ministry of our wardens and vestry. We thank you for the new rector you are preparing to serve among us, whoever and wherever he or she may be. Give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us throughout this journey. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us offer our prayers now for the whole people of God in Christ, 
and for all people according to their needs. For the church called to be the light of hope, we pray for Michael, the presiding bishop, for Rob, our bishop, for Pierce, our interim rector, for clergy and staff, wardens and vestry, and all who minister in your name, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer, Lord. For world leaders and for our own government officials, for the president, the Congress, governors and mayors of all elected representatives called to respond to the signs of the times. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Give comfort and healing to those who are sick with the virus. May they have access to medical care and regain their strength and health. Strengthen all who are caring for loved ones. Grant courage and steadfastness to healthcare workers who with hearts of service stand on the front lines of providing care. Guide scientists and researchers that their work may yield knowledge to develop a vaccine treatments, and improved measures to reduce its spread. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the safety and well-being of all who travel and those who remain quarantined, remove fear and anxiety from our hearts, confident in your providence. Grant that communities of faith may reflect your love as they minister to the most vulnerable among us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and those who will yet suffer such loss, that they may know the consolation of your love. For all who have died in the hope of resurrection and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Here. We also pray for those who are unemployed and for those impacted by the economic crisis, as well as for an end to racial divisions in our nation, our city, and our church. We pray for the ministry of those in our parish who seek to address the needs for racial reconciliation. <laughs> Gracious God, who can turn our worries into wings of joy and our sorrows into songs of thanks, let not our hearts be so troubled by the tragedies of this life's moment that we lose sight of the eternal life in your kingdom. Give comfort and solace to our companions who suffer almost unbearable losses every second, minute, and hour in our nation and world. Strengthen our resolve to replace hatred with love, tension with trust, and selfishness with caring and community. Heal, O oh God, all our children, so that those who hate and those who are hated, those who hurt and those who are hurt, may grow up in America and in a world of peace, opportunity, and justice. Amen. 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 We bring to God prayers for those known to us in our community. And after reading their names, I invite you to share uh, your own prayers aloud, or you may list them in the chat column. Praying today for Jocelyn, Sarah, Kay, Terry, Father Charles, and Anne. Remembering Ann, Keith, Lee, Kathy, Kel, Martha De Laurentiis, Michelle, and John, Michael, Candace, Casey, Francis Hagen, and Lynn. Are there others? I invite any thanksgivings you may have this morning.
I wrote it in the chat, but we're grateful that my brother-in-law did. It was COVID negative. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> Are there others? The Ministry of the Salvation Army in Wilmington, for those in need of health, food, and education. And we pray for the upcoming stewardship sharing. May St. James strive to aspire to be more and to grow magically. Bill Clark's leadership. <laughs> yes. We prayed many times in this group for a friend of mine named Bob Shell, whose heart stopped three times and was not going to make it. The great news is he did. He's home, and his um, wife told me yesterday he's going to stop dialysis soon. So he is, I call him the walking miracle man. So thank you all for praying for him all those weeks. Wonderful. It's always good to hear about miracles. <laughs> so let us sum up. <laughs> Let us sum up our prayers in the words of St. Chrysostom on page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Yeah.
Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 And we do have a, a third and final piece of music for today. But in honor of my father, I would just like to sing a little song that you guys might remember from way back when. There is a redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One, Jesus, my Redeemer, name of all names, precious Lamb of to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. 
Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. Wonderful music. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you don't have to rush off, I just need some officiants and readers for next week. Does anybody want to claim a day? Oh, let, me look at, let, me, let me look at the calendar. Hang on. <laughs> all I know, all I know, every day is I got to get out of bed. Susan, what day would you like to officiate? I'll just ask. You. Um, I've not officiated yet, but I'll be happy to do uh, Tuesday. All right. Anybody else want to officiate? You can put okay. down. Yeah. Pierce. Yeah, all right. What day, Pierce? Doesn't matter. matter. Don't everybody speak? Sure. Hey, Mama, do you want to read one day? Rhonda will do it. <laughs> what day do you want, Rhonda? <laughs> I don't care. Whichever. All right. Y'all are making me decide. I think, uh -oh. Webb, I think Webb is a very good officiant. I'm, yeah. I'm nominating you. <laughs> you can put me in wherever. Okay. Same with me. All if, right. you, if you need somebody to read, I'm, I'm okay. always available. Okay. Any other readers? I'm happy nope. to read. Yep. Happy to read. Ray, Bill. Okay. I'll make some assignments then. Okay. All right. Tomorrow we have Betty and Diane and Friday, right one with New York Rob and <laughs> Sheila. So get your mouth moving the right way. For the <laughs> Inestimable. I just wanted to thank Rob for that wonderful script from which I read today. Really, it is a huge help, and we so much oh, appreciate yes. that. Thank you. We, we just we are so grateful for that. And Rob, that last picture, the last singer is coming to you straight from Harlem, so he's sort of <laughs> in your town. <laughs> Great. <laughs> have to get you to do a duet one day. Uh, all right, y'all have a great day. I gotta go down there and do some more praying. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you, Jerry.